Oh, <laughs> good evening. It is time for today's tax talk. I'm your host. I'm attorney Stephen Leahy. I actually got to put that on for about 10 seconds or 20 seconds because otherwise I got to go back and change everything. So we're going to go back on this. You know, wait 10 seconds. That's enough. Good evening, everyone. It is time for today's tax talk. I'm your host. I'm attorney Stephen Leahy. Well, you know, uh, last week we talked about the boost to the IRS budget. The Congress had passed a $1.5 trillion bill, spending bill, and uh, some of the IRS wish list was on that bill, uh, was in that bill, a 6% raise. You know, they keep telling us how the IRS is behind in everything and they really need more money. And it is true, they are behind in everything. Um, I don't know if throwing more money is really the answer, but that's what they're going to do. That's always Washington's uh, answer, throw more money at it. And uh, so that's what they're doing. So uh, we're going to talk about that. Won't you join us? Again, they, so what happened here today is uh, after the raise, after the $1.5 trillion that 63 senators voted for, remember there's only 15, I mean, there's only 50 Republicans and 50 Democrats. So it was a bipartisan bill in the sense that at least 13 Republicans voted for it. And uh, now they're coming out with a letter to the IRS because they want some answers. Well, what do they want answers for? Well, they because of the backlog, and they're getting a lot of pushback from their, they're getting a lot of pushback from their constituents about what's going on, and why is it that that their tax returns aren't being processed, and why why are they waiting so long for a refund? Uh, again, we're still waiting for 2020. Many pro, of those to re, to be processed. So let's look at the letter that the IR, that the uh, bipartisan group. Uh, said to the uh, to Congress, bipartisan group of lawmakers pushes IRS for answers on numerous problems facing taxpayers. So do you think they could have asked those questions before they agreed to a 6% raise or $1.5 trillion more money to be spent? Nah, we'll wait till after the fact. And then we'll say how we uh, will we'll point to it as proof that we're interested. A group of bipartisan lawmakers is pressing the IRS for answers on lingering issues amid the backlog of millions of unprocessed returns. And then they list a bunch of senators uh, and reiterated their ongoing concerns and push for relief in letters to the IRS commissioner. We remain concerned that the IRS does not have comprehensive plan to remedy the numerous problems affecting taxpayers, despite the fact that this filing season is already well underway, the lawmakers wrote their indignation. Uh, For example, there is continued confusion about which notices may be unilaterally suspended by the IRS beyond the notices that have already been suspended, among other issues, they said. Remember, we reported on this showed uh, several weeks ago that the IRS decided not to send any more notices. They were sending notices out to people to tell them that they hadn't filed their tax return when, in fact, they already had filed their tax returns. And they were sending notices to people say, hey, you owe money when they already paid the IRS. And so rather than face the the embarrassment, they just stopped sending any of the notices out. That way nobody gets angry because they, they just don't get a notice. They don't fix the problem. They just don't send you a notice about it just the way it works. The lawmakers want to, for example, there is a, okay, so the lawmakers want to know which notices must be issued within a certain time frame by law and why others still haven't been suspended. The agency in February temporarily halted more than a dozen types of automated letters, including some, some for unpaid taxes. They have also asked for clarification of the process for penalty abatement, including for taxpayers who've already received relief in 20 and 21. Asking for the an IRS response for the 
by the close of business on March 14th. Well, that was today. Do you think they got the answers that they were looking for? Uh, remember, a, a penalty abatement is when they agree, the IRS agrees to, uh, to cancel any penalties and the interest that goes along with those penalties. Usually you get what they call a, a, a first-time abatement. That's the easiest one to get. The others are not easy to get. And a first-time abatement is only based on if you have always been in compliance for the last three years. And they say, well, even if you weren't in compliance in 2021, you should, even if you weren't in compliance for three years, you should still get an abatement. That would be a change of the law because the, the law right now does not allow a first-time abatement for ju- for that uh, in that those circumstances. Okay. Um, the IRS did not immediately respond to the CB, CNBC's request for comment. Any comment, IRS? No comment. <laughs> the letters come as the IRS plans to hire 10,000 workers. We reported on this last week, and we also reported on the surge of uh, reassigning re, uh, some IRS people from whatever job they have to processing returns. But you just can't. You don't hire someone today and tomorrow they're processing returns. With 5,000 new employees in the next few months to tackle a backlog of more than 20 million unprocessed returns. While the influx isn't likely to help before the April 18th filing deadline, it may provide a boost through the rest of the year. I like that language. It may. It's going to take them longer than that to train them. Congress has approved $12.6 billion for the agency's 2022 budget, a 6% increase from 2021 as part of the $1.5 trillion spending package focused on taxpayer service. Last year, Joe Biden uh, requested $80 billion over the next decade to combat tax evasion from wealthy Americans. Well, I'm glad they didn't say to fix this problem because not very little of that money was was set towards uh, services and customer service. It was really set to go harass Americans and get more money from them. The letters have support from the um, Association Associates of International Certified Prof- Professional Accountants, a bunch of others, among others. Since the beginning of tax season, the members of the Congress and various organizations representing taxpayers and pr- practitioners have urged the IRS to take significant and meaningful steps to mitigate the uh, anticipated challenges of this tax season, said the, said the CEO, Barry Ma- Malankan, uh, said in a statement. The tax season is well underway, and we hope the IRS will heed the widespread calls for meaningful relief to take necessary steps to ease taxpayers' burden and frustration. This is all, this is all feel-good stuff, right? They can, you can come out as congressmen and and senators, stamp your feet and demand change, uh, and even give them money to change, as they did, six percent pay rates. Uh, I, you know, the, with the with the other surplus money that they had, they spent more than fourteen billion dollars last year, the IRS, and they'll spend another more than fourteen billion dollars this year. Uh, rest assured. So it's not that they're not spending the money, and again, you can al- allocate this money as much as you like to the IRS. They can't train people that quickly. They can't retrain people that quickly. Uh, so it's and, and they're not even asking for any tax. Uh, a background or anything to hire these people. And some of these jobs are, are $20,000 a year. So not a high pay threshold. So I don't know, you know, you're not going to get really highly educated people at that rate to work for the IRS and be able to change this uh, anytime soon. So again, they can, they got to do something and they're doing something, which is hiring people and talking about it and demanding things and move, make making sure that they move them along. But in the end, you know, the, they're still not going to be processed. Those those, those returns are, aren't, now they hope to have them done by the end of the year, that they're caught up. I have to predict that by the end of the year, they will not be caught up. And next year, next year's filing season will start very much like this year's filing season, especially if Congress gets its way and starts changing the laws again, which is what they're trying to do. Uh, And the more they change the laws, the more retroactive it becomes, the more difficult it becomes for the IRS. So again, I'm not always on the IRS. Congress has did change many rules, uh, again, retroactively, 
The unemployment uh, compensation was a very good example last year where after many people have already filed and paid taxes, the IRS came out and said, you know, that unemployment insurance you got, we're not going to tax you on it. So they had to, So the IRS went back and redid everybody's tax returns by hand that, that had, uh, who had paid the tax for the unemployment. So if that doesn't happen, they'll still be behind. If that happens, then they'll be way behind. And it's just, just the way it works. We understand the way it works. Um, and again, throwing money at it is not going to solve this problem. Uh, and, you know, again, stamping your feet, jumping up and down, pointing at the IRS and demanding answers also is not going to solve this problem. Uh, and I'm going to say it again, throwing more money at it also will not solve this problem. Uh, and I just, you know, that, that's always the answer for Congress is just to spend more money. Send send them more money. You'll hire more people. It'll get done. I promise. Well, what did you do, Congressman? We spent more money. And they think that that's that's the same as an answer that we gave you an answer uh, and it's just not the same right we all know that okay so uh, again I'm going to ask you to, to like and subscribe like and subscribe to our page we need your help and so um, please like and subscribe why isn't it going up don't know why don't know why okay there it goes nope like and subscribe must have hit it off there we go like and subscribe. We're going to ask you to help us get more people to watch this. Remember, taxes, tax news is really the heart of all news. How are they going to raise money and how are they going to spend it? So help us do that. Help us raise uh, awareness. Tell your friends and family. Like and share. Send it out there. So thanks so much. Remember also that if you're fighting the IRS, what's the first thing you should do if you're fighting the IRS? Get a free copy of my book. Deal with your IRS problem today. Go to freeirsbook.com, freeirsbook.com. Get a copy of my book, Deal With Your IRS Problem. Do that right now. You know, it's out there all the time, freeirsbook.com. Uh, and, and you can learn what you need to know in order to fix your IRS problem forever. So thanks so much for joining us. Remember, tomorrow is Crypto Tuesday. So we'll be talking about uh, the blockchain, cryptocurrency, NFTs, uh, DAOs, all of that great stuff. So join us here tomorrow, won't you? And we look forward to seeing you. Uh, thanks again, and we'll see you tomorrow. Out. Mm-hmm.